Nick Nigga here. It is uh, November 8th, 2019. Um, so it is a day before the Hollister Hills uh, hairball. And uh, and here I am. So we're here setting up camp for tomorrow's race. So um, this is like this is gonna be my third time racing a Hollister Hills hair scramble. So uh, so if you watched my Hollister trail riding vlog or Hollister, I call it Hades Omega Hollister Chronicles. <laughs> um, uh, I came a day early. <laughs> I didn't I I didn't know until I got here, and I said I just said forget it. Let's just let's just you know. We'll just stay here and we'll go ride today. So that's what we did. Um, and then and then I just came down here and we're gonna stay here tonight. Uh, we can't ride anywhere anywhere here. Um, the only thing we can do is race. So so tomorrow is the race. Um, I got the uh, at the KLX back there. That's the one we'll be racing. And then the Suron is behind it. Um, I forgot to bring the battery charger for, for the Suron. So but it's at like 20%. I'm only gonna use the Suron as a, a pit bike, just like last time. Um, I wanted to race the Light B. I, want, I did want to race the Light B, but I, I ordered a controller upgrade from ERT, Electric Race Technologies, and they haven't they haven't put it together yet. They haven't even shipped it to me, so and that was like two weeks ago, so I hope uh, I hope to get it to me soon. But anyway, the, the deal was um, if I could get some better tires on the Light B and then get that upgraded controller so we could have more power, um, we could uh, do the thing, but uh, unfortunately we didn't get we didn't get it. I did get the tires, but I didn't have time enough time to put them on. Um, I probably could have put them on if I came on the <laughs> during the right time, you know. Um, and it's not too hard to put tires on that. But anyway, we rode it with it's got the supermoto set up on it right now. You definitely would not want to race with it right now. Um, it's not in good racing condition right now. So we're gonna ride the KLX 170. Uh, it was a KLX 140 the last time uh, we were here, and now. It's a KLX 170, so um, we'll see how it does. Uh, we got to race the C-Class again. Last time we raced in like an adult mini, and they don't have an, uh, they don't have a mini bike class anymore. They just have like a youth and a like C-Class. So I'll be racing with all the C-Class dudes and like the 30-year-old, 30-year-old uh, bracket. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Uh, so so yeah. That's the deal. So I'm just going to download the bikes, and then I'm kind of hungry. I didn't eat lunch or anything. I was just, just chilling at the campground over there. Uh, I did kind of hurt my foot yesterday riding the KLX on the single track. Um, Hades Omega tell, tell himself, don't don't break the bike and don't get hurt because you got to race on Saturday. And what did I do? I freaking I broke the bike a little bit, and I, and I hurt my foot my ankle <laughs> so but i went i, I rode this i rode the light b today and i i feel okay i feel like i'm i'm i'll be fine the ride so um we should be fine so i'm looking forward to see how this the klx 170 does out there against those other bikes we definitely got more power we got a little less torque now i noticed uh so i don't know if we, if we can do any kind of carb tuning to to give us a little more low end but just uh, it just it just feels like it's got a lot of mid and top end and no low end. But I think that's that just has to do something with like the cam I put in too. Um, the cam all it moved the power band all the way up. So um, so you're just gonna have to ride the bike a little differently. It doesn't it doesn't creep along as good as it does before. But the gearing is pretty low on it still. It's still got the the 13 two sprocket in the front. So and uh, and we rode it for a super moto race last week and it did pretty good. So all right. So uh, so yeah. Just uh, set up camp. Uh, there ain't nobody here. <laughs> ain't nobody here right now, man. Look at this. Nobody here. But I guarantee you, man, tomorrow around 7 o'clock, it's going to be a zoo here, man. There's going to be a lot of folks here out getting ready to race. So, so yeah, we'll kind of, I'll go over the, the sign up sheet and everything in a bit. And uh, yeah. All right. Here's my go. Okay, Hayes Meg here. Sorry, I, I kind of crumpled it up a bit. But here we are. This is these, the Hollister Hills Hairball for 2019, tomorrow. So, uh, so these are the different uh, race events. There's the Paris Scramble. That's like really, really little kids. Ages 6, is, six to 16 and up. Really? Hmm. Paris Scramble, huh? I can I can enter that, can I? <laughs> but it's like it's like the it's like a dumbed down course sorta. And then there's a hair scramble main event. 
that's the uh, this uh, A in the B class. All right, and uh, that goes from you got to be like a, a young adult and up. Okay, so that first two classes are 16 and 39. And then there's a women's class for B. And then there's a third race, which is at like one or something. So yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna take a while before we race tomorrow. Um, yeah, it starts at one. And this is a shorter course. And this is the C class. This is the one we'll be racing in. I'll be racing in C3, 30 to 39 because I'm old. And um, and then there's the youth hair scramble event, and yeah, so so this is a uh, limited to 150 cc four stroke and 100 cc two stroke, no automatic. So um, there used to be a mini class, which is kind of like a combination of these two classes or something, and they had a 16 and up class, and that's what I raced last time, and I had a lot of fun racing with the kids, man. This those kids are fun to race. <laughs> Um, but, uh, they don't have it anymore. I have to race in the C-Class now. That's what I did last time. So we're going to race in C3. Um, should be fun. Uh, my bike is a little faster than last time, so maybe we can, we can pass some people on big bikes. <laughs> For some reason, it says 21, 21 inch front wheel required. Oh, for C1. For little, little kids have to have a 21 and up, uh, a 21 inch front wheel and it just says here open like open I guess means like anything you can run anything you want provided this one this one has some limitations but so ride in whatever you want <laughs> yeah this is like for ultra beginners so I don't don't race that one man <laughs> and, and then like they don't have a, a thing to race with the kids anymore so I gotta race with everyone with the adults now so crikey's that's the big so, so that's another reason I don't want to race with in this class is because this is probably the biggest class <laughs> the, the C group is probably the biggest so you know when there's more riders yeah there's more people to pass you know or there's more people to pass you but there's also more dust is a problem and it's pretty dry out right now there's gonna be a lot of dust I don't know the last time I was here it was super dusty so I think it's gonna be pretty dusty. It did. It did kind of rain a couple days ago, and and the trails didn't seem like they were that. Like when I rode in the park earlier, the trails didn't seem that dry. Like there, there was still some evidence that like yeah, it had rained a little bit. So. So yeah, um, so they're gonna have some food tomorrow. That's good because I am kind of running out of food. <laughs> it's a time. Um, the. Yeah, it's a time release, event. Um, so what happens is like I don't remember how, how much, what the intervals were. I think the A class is like they're, they're shorter intervals. I think you get like 15 seconds or something. You get 15 seconds and they let you out uh, behind the next behind the, the the rider in front of you. And so and then the the person by, behind you is 15 seconds. So so if you catch up to someone, you've already you know shaved 15 minutes off your time. Uh, um, if you catch up to someone, that means they've lost already because <laughs> you already beat their time. So so uh, yeah. That's the way it works. So, but it's kind of more, yeah, it's kind of more based on time. Um, not so much as racing against other people as you're racing to get the best time. But, but if you get stuck behind somebody, it's in your best interest to pass that slow rider as soon as possible so they don't hold you up. You don't want to get held up and you don't want to crash. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, that's the gist of it. So, don't crash. Try not to get held up by slow riders. And try to try to be aggressive in your passing, you know. Um, but uh, but yeah. So now we got the faster bike. We got the KLX 170. Hopefully we can uh, we have some passing power now, you know. Um, before I would just get killed on the hills, man. But we would catch up to a lot of people on that really tight singles track stuff. So this course is really fun. It's a really fun course. I raced it like this is gonna be my third time racing on this course, so um, it's a lot of fun. And it's not all beat up like all the trails, <laughs> like the rest of the trails in the park, man. I rode them today, man. And I was like, man, these trails, the trails are all whooped out and shit. <laughs> it's uh, can't can't relax on the trail if you know what I mean, you know. But it's definitely not gonna be relaxing out there. We're gonna be racing, you know. All right, here's me out. All right, it's me here. We're going to, we're riding up to the registration booth, and the and the light be here. 
it's got 14% power. It's starting to blink at me and complain that it's got no power. <laughs> I could have sworn I had like 20% yesterday. I think it's because of the cold weather. It kind of not making the battery happy. Anyway, uh, we're going to go up here. Up the hill. It's okay. We're not racing this one, so I don't need the power. But I sure, I sure don't want to uh, walk up this hill. <laughs> oh yeah, man, it's really low on power now. It's not really going anywhere. Hello. Hello. Okay. So I just got done with the registration. Um, I got. Yeah, my number plate, 640, and we're going to go put that on our bike, um, and we're going to go ride back, uh, So, and then I guess, I guess we'll go grab the KLX real quick, and we'll do a sound check on it. Uh, we don't race until like 1 o'clock, so, man, the light B is like super low on power right now, it is like pissed off. <laughs> It's okay. Um, I don't, the only other times I think we're gonna go ride back up here is uh, if uh, if we're gonna go. Uh, what's the word? Uh, um, if we're gonna go take pictures and videos. So hopefully, uh, if it really does run out of power, we'll just uh, just uh, what should we call it? If it, if it really does run out of power, I'm going to, uh, <laughs> just, we're just going to take the KLX up there. No biggie. It's so, it's so nice having this as a pit bike though, you know, it just, you don't have to warm it up or anything, it doesn't make any noise. Just ride it. Oh, oh, it just died. <laughs> yeah, it hit low voltage cut off right there. Dang it. <laughs> hit low voltage cut off. Okay. All right. So we're going to go, uh, let's go put our number plate on, I guess. I'm going to make it look pretty. I'm going to make it fit my, uh, my thing nicely. I don't know. It fits there pretty good already. It's pink. It's pink number plate this time. I think it was blue last time. All right. Here's we go. All right. Uh, we just got done with the sound check. <laughs> Sorry. I missed the video. But anyway, he said it was 93 decibels out of 96. So I was like, I was like, oh, wow. I was like, I almost, it's almost like it's borderline. <laughs> I want to say. I feel like my handlebar is a little crooked, and when I crashed it, I think the, the handlebar is crooked. Uh, it's not a lot crooked, but let's see if we can fix it a little bit. There we go. That's the El Ghetto, the ghetto handlebar alignment. <laughs> Got a lot of power now, man. <laughs> we'll see how it does out there, dude. Can't wait. That's one of the reasons we wanted to race this, because uh, I've only done the Hollister Hills hair scrambles with the 140, and uh, and we're just getting killed. We're getting killed on the hills and stuff, man. The hills and the straights, we're getting killed. So uh, we're gonna go see if uh, see if uh, we can do. We'll do a little better now. Um, Does this thing just go so slow up the hills and stuff? And then when we get to a straightaway, they just pull away from me. It's it's no fun. <laughs> so so now we add a little power to the equation. So hopefully that'll do the trick. All right, and so yeah. Okay, like all right, here we go. We're entering the staging area. It's that time, race time, baby. So they're watering the track, so it's nice and muddy now. <laughs> Get there, go of it. Um, yeah. And uh, that should be it, man. Uh, 
So when we line up, we'll line up at C3. All right. Okay, so we're at C3. We should be the third row, I guess. This is really choppy. So one, two, three, like right here somewhere. Okay. All right, racing these dudes here in C3. All right. Uh, so yeah. So here's the deal, man. Uh, same as usual, dude. Just go at your own pace and don't crash. I mean, try to go as fast as you can, but you know, if there's a slow rider, you need to pass them. Uh, yeah, if there's a slow rider, you need to make an effort to pass them, man. That's, that's all I'm saying. Like, we got a more powerful bike now. Hopefully, you know. Hopefully, it'll be good. All right, here's we go. All right, so I don't know the course. I don't know the course, so what are we gonna do is we're gonna follow the person in front of us. <laughs> That's all we're gonna do. Hopefully they know where they're going, but I think we're going like around here and around there and then up over there that fence and then we get on the, the trail and we, it spits us out somewhere over there at the end, so. That's all I know. So, all right. All right. This is the riding's reading. It's a one-hour race. Shortly after 1 p.m., you're going to be on the course for one hour. Checkered flag will fall one hour from the first rider leaving. We are going to leave you. Uh, the start is an individual release start. We are going to line you up for that start one at a time. Let you go. Say go. Take off. You will be starting on the motocross track. When you're on the motocross track, the rule is you stay on the motocross track until the ribbon and course markings take you off it. Obviously, we don't have fencing around the entire track, but if you decide to make a turn and cut across the infield to cut the track short, you will be docked a lap or disqualified. <coughs> so you really don't want to do that. <coughs> stay on the track until the course takes you on. Um, you will be, you know, after a couple of tabletops in the first lap, you're going to jump off the off the track and go out on the course. Then you're going to come back onto the course, and uh, again, you will stay on the track until the course directs you off it into the home check. So um, the course itself, like I said, is a little bit dusty, but you know what? We got a little bit of breeze coming up. It's not too hot, so you just need to be careful, especially the first lap. Hollister Hills, you know the terrain, it is dusty, but there is also a lot of hard pack. So in that hard pack are some ruts. So you want to make sure you can see the ground when you are riding out there, especially on the first lap when we're a little tight. Take it a little bit easier, go slower to go faster, and make sure you avoid those. We also know we got a we got Hollister Hills, we got of course the turns from trail to trail. We might have some of those switchbacks coming in. Keep your eye on the course marking. We got arrows pointing you to the left and right. We got um, caution tape telling you not to go through it, as well as snow fence and banners, which you want to avoid those things. First lap, they said there might not be a high skill area. When you see three arrows going down, that's a uh, high skill area. It's like a technical area. I don't think there's going to be any. It's like an enduro thing. There's ten people. For six back, it should be a good race. Hopefully, I can finish somewhere in the middle. All right. All right, I got my GPS here, so we can get some data from the race. Should be good. We'll let you know how much we rode after and how fast we went and all that stuff. I'm gonna go reset it when the first row starts moving. All right. Oh, there we go. We got one KLX 140 over there. <laughs> and it's an older dude riding it too. So you better not let that KLX 140 pass you. 
<laughs> yeah, there's only only one other mini bike here, so, so yeah. So yeah, I, man, we're racing against all these big bikes. Should be uh, should be interesting race. <laughs> C class. All right. All right. So I've been hydrating for like the last hour, man. So I hope I I hope I'm hydrated. I did take a pee before this, and it was a little bit yellow. So that's uh, that's not good. <laughs> you wanted to be clear. Anyway. Uh, so. Uh, so what's the deal here? Uh, yeah, I hope I drank enough water. Um, but I got some water waiting for me at the van when I come back. Um, but uh, yeah, generally before a race, I I gotta really go pee really bad, and right now I don't feel that way. So uh, I just feel a little bloated. So man, I uh, hope I drank enough water. <laughs> That's all he's made of saying. All right, we're in a different line now. <laughs> Single file. Oh, there they go, man. Dude gonna get his bike started. They're letting us out pretty fast, man. <laughs> We're gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of passing going on. I just saw straight up two stroke smoke. <laughs> it's just nothing but smokers. All right, second row is moving. We're in the third row. I'm kind of nervous and I feel kind of bloated. All right, here we go. This is it, it's game time. This is the time I hate way worse, man. The right waiting for a race to start, you know? All right, remember, the brakes are really touchy on this because we've been super moto racing with it. So, all right, hey everyone, man, this is it. This is the beginning. This is a Kalex 170's debut dirt race. Hope you guys enjoy it. Just, uh, we'll try our best. Yeah. <laughs> 